Go back to your such a hoe. You're a despicable. You're a hoe. Your own family. The What'd you call me? Year old What'd you call me? What? Plaintiff Louise Kersey has had enough. Since her fiance of 17 years moved out, he has caused her nothing but grief, and she is finally calling him out on his outrageous, childish behavior, including stealing her things. She is suing him for $4,700. Defendant Frank Scafari says their rocky relationship is a two-way street. He claims his ex-fiance has been victimizing him, so he is countersuing for $2,530, the value of an engagement ring, personal items, and emotional distress. Louise, you are suing your former fiance of 17 years. That's correct, Your Honor. In the amount of $4,700 for various items. And Frank, you are countersuing for the return of an engagement ring, some Martha Stewart cushions, and oh. a fishing box. From the garbage. I assume the wedding is off. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, it was oh, off with <laughs> well, Judge Jerry. Go ahead. OK. Judge Jerry, I have been with the defendant, was with the defendant, for 17 years. Not five years, not 10 years, not 15 years. I say 17. 17. You got it. I nailed so it. So within those 17 years, Your Honor, yes. I loved him. I stood by him. I did everything to help him in every way. His car got booted in New York City two times, $2,500 each. He called me up once while my mother was having open heart surgery at St. Francis Hospital. I need your credit card. I need your credit card. I promise I'll pay you back. I bailed the cars out twice. I never saw a dime back. Another instance, Your Honor, was when his car got repossessed for $3,500. I paid it. I never got a dime back. <laughs> when his mother passed away, Relax. well, you could see that he's, you know, six short of a dozen. When his mother passed away, and I was very close to her, and one thing his mother used to say to me, thank you for loving my son. With all these I loving have to give you the background did. before I get to the present, Your Honor. Got it. Otherwise, okay. it won't make on, sense. Sir. Okay. When he had surgery for his neck, a seven-hour surgery, I was at the hospital for three days when he woke up from anesthesia. I was feeding him ice chips. I paid for his medicine, drove him to his, pers uh, his physical therapy, took him to his doctor, uh, doctor's appointments, and took care of him. There was no gratitude, no thanks. He's an entitled, enabled, covert narcissist <laughs> and a cheater, which I'll get to. Speed forward. Oh, in the past God. four years since his mother died, he became extremely aggressive with me. Aggressive, emotionally abusive, financially abusive, physically abusive, and he used me That's as a... That's not true. I have proof, and I will, if I have to, to show things that... I don't want to hurt him and embarrass him, but if I have to, I will. It is true. I am not lying. I do not lie. I've been a teacher for 30 years. I am a person of character and integrity, and I am kind and compassionate. And he took that and he used it as he just wants someone to support him because he doesn't like the word work. Oh, God. On March 10th, I went to Florida with my girlfriend to see her mother, who's 87 years old. He saw my itinerary, New York to West Palm Beach, West Palm Beach back. He was supposed to drive us to the airport. She's an 87-year-old mm. woman. My girlfriend hadn't seen her since COVID. She said, do you want to come? I never went on a girl's trip. Women go on bachelorette trips. They go on to Vegas. I never went anywhere. Involved I in a work. Girl's trip. Sorry, I work. Here's yes. my Close life. I, I teach. Sorry, I apologize. I teach. I go to the gym. I make dinner with my family. I do. I, I, I get up at 5:30. I'm in school by seven. I am not a runaround person. I'm a family Got person. It. He knows my schedule. I came back from the trip on the 14th of March. I went directly from the airport, got in my car to his house. He was very irate. Uh, aggressive, nasty to me. I showed him my pictures from the trip. I took a picture of a boat at Guanabana, this famous restaurant there on the water. He saw the boat. He said, yeah. you are on a yacht with a, her, her 75-year-old friend who's just about getting married in September. He's been engaged for eight years to his girlfriend. I met that person for five minutes. Are you saying that he was implying that you, you had, yes, had Your Honor. an affair yeah. with a I don't even know the man. I met the man for five minutes. With a 75-year-old man? That's correct, Your Honor. Does he have He's, pictures of you two playing shuffleboard? Absolutely not. He has no, no pictures well, of anything because it was a lie. almost his age. Your Honor, I'm almost his age. <laughs> not only is he ignorant, he's an ageist. He's an ageist, he's a sexist, he's biased, he's I prejudiced, and obviously he's very ignorant. You have one foot in the grave. There it is! That's <laughs> his insulting You know what you are? You are... Good looking, I know. God, you're really twisted. Why are you suing him? 
<laughs> You're on, I'm getting oh, to it. I'm getting to it. I have to I show know. this to get to it. Yeah, I get it. Exhibit A, I was driving to school and my girlfriend said, Louise, I have bad news for you. Did you know that your boyfriend's on Facebook dating? He was on Facebook dating. I almost crashed the car. I pulled the car over. I said, you're on Facebook dating? You know what he said? A hacker put me on. He's a liar and a cheater. That proves lack of character. OK, Let's this go is to a dating profile which says, Frank, 50, nice what? guy, and love nice boating. Nice guy. Yeah, That's if you me. like the devil, Lucifer's, Rosemary's baby, maybe. Lucifer, the <laughs> devil, the, the devil on Please. earth. Exhib what? Let's go to exhibit B. He left his phone on the counter, and I walked by, and I said, ooh. Awesome night, I'm home safe, wait a minute. And I said, liquor store? Oh, yeah. well this was the Amityville Horror Ho that he went to see at the Damn Amityville, <laughs> the Amityville Horror Ho. He ate at my house Sunday night. I packed him leftovers, guess seat? where he went? To the Amityville Horror Ho and danced at the beach in the rain with her. I okay, called her up. Okay, what's exhibit C? Exhibit C is my bike, my lady's giant bike that he purchased that he refused to give back to me. Okay? This is my painted by an artist in Florida. You couldn't get the whole picture, but it's two beach chairs that he helped himself to in a beautiful white uh, frame. I had his cushion reupholstered that he got out of the garbage because it was torn and tatted because I'm a nice person. What's that cushion? Oh, she the, he'll get to that. He'll get to that. You robbed my fishing she, box? April 18th, I was in the gym. I said, I have to leave the gym. I have to try one more time. Here's his door. Here's his kitchen window. I went like this, and there I saw a dirty, greasy-haired Bajo with him. We broke up for two months. What do you no, expect? No, it was, was two weeks two later. No, it was April no, 18th. No. So we have the liquor store, Amityville Horror yes. Ho. We have Facebook dating. Yes. Who's going to date him? He doesn't even have a job. And then we have the bar hoe with the greasy hair. She looked like he dumpster dived her, just like he dumpster dived this. Oh, and we went on three trips a year. Florida, Montauk, my Fire Island beach house. He never paid a dime. He maybe bought me a hot dog, OK? Let's say, Wait, let me take maybe, the hot dog. Maybe, people. It's, uh, <laughs> the hot dog is good, right? The lamp. He maybe bought me a hot dog. Everything on and it? And if he didn't, and if I wanted a bagel, <laughs> everything on it. And if I wanted a bagel, you know what he would say? You know what he would say? Well, do you have a dollar times a tough? This court can't fix your relationship. No, no. This Getting court is items. just going to deal with the question of what you sued for, yes. which were certain items yes. that you want either the money for or you want the items I want back. the chain. I, got I it. want the money. So now let's go to Frank. Frank, she doesn't like you. <laughs> you know, Judge. Okay, okay, hey, 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 it's his turn. Thank you. I loved the first time I met her. I said, oh, I want to marry you. I felt it. I told my father, I called my dad. I go, Dad, she told me she's only 40 years old. Yada, yada, yada. Beep, bop, boo. Beep, bop, boo? Yeah, well, you know, just the whole thing. So I bought her a $10,000 engagement ring. You didn't pay for it. All of a sudden, I find out she's not 40. She's, I, want, I go, said, I want to get married. I want to at least have one kid. And that's it. That's it. It was pretty simple. She goes, yeah, we will. All of a sudden, a birthday comes up. She just turned four, four. She was 40 when I knew her. But all of a sudden, she went to 46. Not true. I said I was in my 40s. OK. It, oh, all right. We kept going and going. Oh, we looked at destination wedding. Yeah, OK. I have 10,000 in my account. I'm like, OK. I spent that, that, going to Paradise Island, oh, no. uh, Bermuda, here, this, that. So I said, OK. She goes. I don't think I'm ready yet. Right there and then I knew she didn't want to get married. She was just playing me. Why were you engaged for 17 years? Who stays engaged to someone for 17 years? You Judge. either marry them love, or you don't. Love is blind and I guess stupid too. Next thing I know, I saw it finding texts. This guy, this text were at 1030 at night. A week later, we're at the nightclub. We're dancing in, at the Venetian. This guy goes, Louise, starts running across, Louise, Louise. This guy doesn't know who I am. She bolts out of there into the girl's bathroom and hides there. Not true. So me, being street smart, I go, listen, oh. you text Louise last He's like, yeah, me and Louise hang out all the time. This is eight years ago. Then he realized who I was. I go, I'm Frank, a boyfriend. She goes, oh, she's never mentioned you. He's a liar. He never I went, what? And then I caught her again. So then I said, let's start a clean slate. And it wasn't even about, because I knew oh, she was no. cheating, because I was, I was born at night, but not last night. Oh, that's a line. You, okay? that, you know what? You use that line so much, it's as old as you. 51-year-old no, middle-aged man, anyway, sweetheart. So, no 30-year-old wants you. Look at you. Let him speak, man. You're a shame. Look at you. She's suing me for a lamp that's 20 years old that I can't even get rid of for three bucks at a garage sale. She's suing me for 
uh, uh, I'll a say what I'm suing you for, not you. All right, she's suing me for a birthday gift that no. she got me for my 50th birthday. That I want to discuss, Your Honor. On. She got me this for my 50th time. birthday. I, no, I didn't. I was happy. I, I always wanted one. Okay. She finally came. And then, you know what? So you're sh saying she bought it? I did not. May I, my birthday. You didn't buy that? May I then discuss the chain, Your Honor? Thank you. May I discuss the chain? Good. I planned a big party for him for his 50th. I hired a band. I did custom invitations. I know. I just COVID want to came, know. Did you pay for that? And I had Did you pay no, for the I chain? No, I didn't. I paid, ah. for, I paid for See? a chain. It was, I bought it under the condition to give it to him for his birthday this year. He broke up with me on March 21st because he had... It was my 50th you know, birthday. I'm 51 now. Facebook dating. He took it from me without my permission. It was a conditional gift. The condition was he would stop drinking. She is saying that, yes, she did buy that. But she was going to give it to you on your 50th birthday if you had stopped drinking. Yes. No, that's not true. She said, I didn't give you the party because oh. of COVID. Did she ever hand you the, the necklace? Never. How yes. did you physically get the necklace? We went there together. She goes, this is for your 50th at the place. And here you go. And Come. she gave you the yeah. necklace? Yeah, I never took it off since. How did he get it? He took it from me. She from bought my it by home. herself? No. He Shh. took it from my house because it was for his April 5th this year I, I birthday. I know what it was for. And he, our relationship ended, and I caught him with the girl on the 18th. I went there on the 18th <sighs> to get my chain, my pictures, everything back. And that's when I caught the bar drunk with the greasy hair. My so God, you went she was to disgusting. Get, you just said you went to his house and you to got... To collect it. To take the chain back. That means you had already given it to him. No, How he took it he from my it? house in March. He took it from my house in March. He took it from he in March. He is a thief. Look up his record. He's a thief. Why would I take anything from her You're house? You're a thief. Like, you but wait a second. Don't I, let can me I embarrass you and okay. go over your Excuse record. Excuse can I say one th about yeah, this stuff ahead. right here? See this fabric right here? Yeah. This is all brand new. Right. I have Mine it Man, stop talking. Mine. Let him finish. You know why it's brand new? Because she took a knife. I did not. And tore it apart, stole it from my backyard. I did not. Took my fishing box. Stole right. my bathing suits, my own. I know. Bathing. How can I, I steal bathing suits? Ma'am, stop speaking. Why He's are talking. You talking. Let him finish. How come she refurbished it for me if she hates me so much? So this is your counter suit. You want the pillow and the fishing box back. There it is. I was so and nice. I reupholstered. My engagement ring. The engagement ring is he a conditional gift. He ripped it off my finger, threw me on the floor, and pawned it. And oh, said his sister I'll... had it in a safe. You have a picture. Put my of hand it. on the Bible. Yeah, okay, That's wait, wait. Truth. We have we, we have, have a picture. Of it. Give me a receipt. And that's yeah. only a couple of years ago. Exactly. And he took it. I he did took not. that ring I did back. Not take it. He took that ring back. Let's go through these items because I'm now going to decide. It doesn't matter you showing the audience, okay? <laughs> I'm showing the okay. rest of the world. I'm, I'm no. <laughs> these are the items. There is the the thirty two hundred dollars for the gold chain she is suing you for. You're saying that the gold chain is yours because it was a gift. Mm -hmm. She's sure. saying that gift was conditional. The problem with both of you on this one is neither of you have proof, but there is no proof that you said it was conditional, and there is no proof that she didn't say. So that I just have to put aside for the moment. Mm -hmm. The women's bike, I am deciding that she's entitled to the women's bike. It's a woman's bike. Where is the bike right now? That's at my house. So the $700 for the bike. The four decorative pictures, you're saying that was a gift to you. Yeah. Okay, she, you're saying that it isn't. The floor lamp and the ottoman, I'm saying, are hers. Yes. Okay, so that's uh, $500 right there. On your counter suit, the engagement ring is a conditional gift and it's worth $2,000. The problem is, just as with the gold chain, I don't have proof either way that you didn't take it off and get it back or there's no proof that you're telling the truth either. So where is the ring now? Ask him. He pawned it. That's not true, Your Honor. It's at her house. Your Honor, I, I have proven I'm, my character, my, my integrity, soul, and his lack of. He's an admitted right, cheater. Enough. So here's the deal. You say you should get the money for the engagement ring back, and you say you should get the money for the chain I'm back. I'm still paying it every I'm going to cancel both, because neither of you have proved your case. So the only thing I got, you get 700 for the bike, and you get 500 for the uh, lamp and ottoman. What about the, on the oh, There's no proof on that. On the uh, cushion and the fishing box, 
Frank, you get that. Your Honor, you he took that from a barbecue. You're not, you're not or are you giving it back? <laughs> it's yours now, so there's no money for it. You got it back. I find when I offset both of them, other than finding out what your relationship was like, and I wish you both happiness. But and I have it, found happiness. Thank you very much, well, Your Honor. Well, I'm, I'm very I'm happy. When for God you. T minus is someone bad out of your life, you yeah. get blessed with someone three times better. You took so it. it's uh, You're such a liar. Twelve hundred to the life. plaintiff. No, you are. And since STD this is boy. I find for the plaintiff twelve hundred dollars. Thank you, Your Thomas Honor. Suit dismissed. Good always prevails, and evil loses. Go Stop back to your bar. Home. Home. You're a despicable. You're a hoe. Your own family. What'd you call me? 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 Look at you. You are such a loser. Ugh. Let's Stop go. drinking. It's I smell theirs. the vodka. I smell the vodka. I smell it. Sir. I'll spit on you. Your That's own father sword. said he wished you were Shut never up. born. Your so own father. Your own father. Get your own father. Get her out of here. Your, father. Father. Out of here. your own father. Your own family disowned you. Now you see. Want the truth? I'm trying to. I I'm smell the to get alcohol. I smell the alcohol. Eat my shorts. You should be a disgrace. You're a disgrace to what a man. You're, that a, mean? you're a. Don't make me embarrass you. You drug she addict alcohol. Yeah. You're a drug Can addict alcohol. Can I get the hell out of here, please? An educated teacher stealing out of my backyard. I mean, how low life. Suing me for an eight dollar lamp. Unbelievable. I mean. 12-year-old kids have more common sense than her. If I say she was to come back, she would come back. I guarantee it, but I won't. I guarantee not. I wasted enough time on such a terrible, narcissistic, very bad person. And he knows all he took from me. He knows the real truth. He could play his games and lie. That's why he leaves with nothing. And I leave with a rendered judgment in favor of me. So bye-bye, evil person. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.